Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are enjoying all the videos that I am uploading. I am back with another problem from Read Code today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so that you get all the future videos as well. So today's problem is sort integers by the power value. So the power of an integer x is de defined as the number of steps needed to transform x into 1 using the following steps. If x is even, x is equal to x by 2. If x is odd, x is equal to 3x plus 1, 3 into x plus 1 basically. So for example, power of uh, x is equal to 3 is 7 because 3 needs 7 steps to become 1. So, so the power value is getting defined by two steps. If x is even, you'll just do a division of x by 2. If x is odd, you multiply x by 3 and add 1. So with that steps, if you are able to reach to 1, so how many steps it takes to reach to 1? So that is the power of x. So given three integers, low, high and k, the task is to sort all integers in the interval low to high by the power value in ascending order. If two or more integers have the same power value, sort them by ascending order. Return the kth integer in the range low to high sorted by the power value. Notice that for any integer x, low is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to high. It is guaranteed that x will transform into 1 using these steps and that the power of x will fit in 32 bit sine integer. So basically that's it. So uh, let's go look at one example, right? Low is 12 and high is 15. So 12, 13, 14, 15. So we need to calculate the power value for 12, for 13, 14 and 15 and return um, the second element in the ascending order, right? So, so power of 12 is nine. So power of 13 is nine. Power of 14 is 17, power of 15 is 17. We are going to see the code very soon. So the interval sorted by the value of the powers is 12, 13, 14, and 15. It so happened that for 12, uh, the 12 and 13, the power is uh, nine, and 14 and 15, it is 17. And this nine is less than 17. So they are like same as their original order, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And since we are looking for k is equal to two, that the second element, k is equal to two means that is second element. Second element is 13 in this array, right? So uh, remember k is equal to two is the second element, not the index, okay? k is equal to two is not the index. They are looking for second element. So when you look at the index, right, we uh, always pick the k minus one in the array. So that's one, that's one, that's one point we need to note, okay? Let's go look at a uh, brief algorithm how we are going to solve this, right? So have a placeholder class uh, to hold number and power value. So we'll have to uh, have a placeholder class which can keep the number and its power value, right? So that's what uh, we'll have. And for each number, we are going to calculate the power value and store them in the placeholder array. So placeholder array will be uh, having number, power value, number, power value, number, power value, like so on, right? So we'll have an iCompiler class um, with the required ascending order. So the required ascending order is this one, right? So we are, we are going to sort them by power value. If two or more integers have same power value, then sort them by ascending order, right? Sort the numbers by ascending order. So we'll have an iCompiler class which will be used to sort the placeholder array, right? So we use this iCompiler class to sort the uh, placeholder array and then return the number from the placeholder array at k minus one th index. Remember k is the number of the elements number, not the index. So that's why we are k minus one th index being since C sharp is zero based array. So let's go look at uh, the placeholder class, right? So placeholder class will have uh, two placeholders, right? So number and its power, right? So this is what the placeholder class is. And then uh, we will have this power compare. This is a comparer that we are going to use in order to sort the uh, nodes, okay? So what we are saying is if uh, the power value is same, then we are going to compare the number, right? If the power value is not same, we just go compare with the power value. But if the power value is same, we use the number. So this is the comparison that we are going to use to sort the array, right? So now, go. So the power value method 
it's pretty simple so this is going to give the number of steps for each integer to get into get to one right so while n is not equal to one we are going to do this this calculation right if we, x is even do x by two if x is r do uh, 3 into x plus 1. So same thing we are going to do here. If while n is not equal to 1, right? If n percentage 2 is equal to 0, that means even, then you are going to divide by 2. Otherwise, multiply the n by 3 and add it to 1 and keep incrementing the steps till n becomes 1. So finally, return the number of steps. So likewise. So now, so create a uh, node array, right? Uh, the length of the array will be low minus uh, sorry high minus low plus one right so that many uh, elements that you need to calculate the powers right so and then so number so each each for each number i right get the power value of i and store them in the node right so so nodes this numbers array right uh, sort them using the power compare class right so this is a power compare class once you sort it then you have um, calculated the power values and the, the, the numbers are sorted according to the power values. Now, so from that array, right, just take the k minus 1th number, right, k minus 1th index, whatever the node it is there, and then return the number. That's it, right? Hope you like the solution and understand it. If you like the solution, please subscribe uh, to my channel and also click the bell icon so that you get all my future videos. Uh, I'll meet you very soon with another problem from LeetCode. Till then, bye.